Hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, producer at Toys for Bob, and I'm here to talk to you about Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Crash 4 is a direct sequel to Crash Bandicoot Warped. The devious villains Neo Cortex and Dr. Entropy have finally escaped their interdimensional prison, leaving an evil scientist-sized hole in the universe. Now they've got their eyes set on not only simply conquering this dimension, but all dimensions. And it's up to Crash and Coco to save the day. Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is the first totally new game in the Crash Bandicoot series in over a decade. So for us at Toys for Bob, we felt that it was important to reintroduce longtime fans, as well as new players, to this amazing franchise. First, we made sure to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective-shifting platforming that we all fell in love with. And then, we wanted to introduce exciting new elements that we can't wait to show you today. Let's start with Insanity Beach. This is where Crash's adventure first started, and where we picked things up again in Crash 4. But there have definitely been changes since we first saw Insanity Beach all those years ago. And throughout Crash 4, you'll see those changes to our gameplay and even our art style. Our art teams wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games, but the animated cartoons that inspired those original games, all while also delivering bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions to explore. Throughout Crash 4, you'll see wide open new vistas, new character models, and lots of expressive animations. And with all of that also comes new additions to the platforming, like having the ability to wall run, rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as well. In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash wearing a biker jacket when riding a motorcycle. That seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So we have loaded the game with tons of awesome skins that you can earn and wear throughout the game. These skins are totally cosmetic and a fun way to express yourself while playing the game. And just to be clear, there's no MTX here. Skins are earned by completing different challenges and earning gems within levels. Crash 4 also introduces the Quantum Masks, the powerful protectors of time and space. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the crazy challenges that we're going to be throwing at the player. Whether it's Ika Ika, who gives you the ability to instantly flip your center of gravity at the press of a button, Kapunawa, who allows you to slow down the world around you, or Lani Loli, who allows you to phase shift elements in and out of existence. Bending the rules of reality and altering your environment with these new masks is a must. We also can't wait to talk to you about the fourth mask, Akano, but that's gonna have to wait for another day. What we can tell you today, though, is that Crash isn't the only character you get to take control of during this adventure. For starters, you can play the entire game as Coco. Any level that you can play as Crash, you can also play as Coco. It was also very important for us that she take a more prominent role in the story this time as well. But that's not all. We've got a few other characters that you'll get to control at key points in the adventure, so that they can provide their own fresh perspectives and new gameplay. Here you can see that you'll be taking control of Neo Cortex. He's all about using his blaster to change an enemy in his path. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're excited to reveal that for the first time, you'll also get to tail slap your way through crates as Dingo Dial. I repeat, you get to play as Dingo Dial in Crash 4. Now a lot has changed in the years since we last saw Dingo Dial. In fact, he hung up his old flamethrower rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. Unfortunately for Dingo, fortunately for us, his adventure begins by witnessing the destruction of said beloved diner and getting sucked into another dimension. Finally, there's one more surprise I'm incredibly excited to show you today. The Crash Bandicoot series has always been about finding new and exciting ways to play through the game. In the past, it's been about taking on time trials or discovering all the hidden secrets. Well, for Crash 4, we wanted to bring something brand new to the table. So we teamed up with our friends at Beanox to create a brand new style of play for Crash 4 that we call Inverted Mode. It's our souped up, bump a berry fueled take on a mirror mode. Not only are perspective shifted, but now each of the dimensions are rendered in a new and unique art style that really changes the look and feel of the experience. One dimension could be asking you to traverse through a neon wasteland, while another tasks players with spinning paint all over the environment to see their path forward. We've even got one that feels like an old timey movie with the overcranked camera speed increasing the actual speed of gameplay as well. Once unlocked, players can replay all the game's levels with a totally new and dynamic look and feel. It's an incredibly fun feature that is going to give every player, especially the completionists out there, 
a reason to revisit each level again to see what new and exciting experiences in store for them. So that's some of the new stuff that we have in store for you in Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Experience the space and time-bending madness on October 2nd. We are happy to announce Braid Anniversary Edition. It's the classic puzzle adventure where you manipulate time, hand repainted for modern high resolutions. Many areas have been re-envisioned to make them more unique, and it's even more like a living painting with brush strokes animating the world. There are more than nine pixels for each pixel in the original game. There are new animations for smoother motion, improved sound and music to enhance the mood, and many hours of developer commentary and interviews on subjects like puzzle design, programming, and visual art. We plan to make it the most detailed commentary in any game ever. So if you want to learn how video games are made, Braid Anniversary Edition will be a really good resource. We hope Hi everyone, this is Matt Nava from Giant Squid. I'm excited to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. The Pathless is an open world, mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the hunter, who along with your eagle companion, seeks to lift a curse of darkness that plagues the world. The hunter is a master of archery. 
She can shoot talismans to fill her dash meter, which allows her to bound across the landscape. Fluid, dynamic movement is at the core of the Pathless. So the game's unique take on archery is all about timing, not aiming down sights. This design was critical to making it possible to shoot even while moving fast and performing acrobatic maneuvers. You instantly feel as skilled as the hunter herself. With help from the eagle, you can even fly. The bond between the hunter and the eagle is central in the pathos. You can gain altitude while you glide by flapping. Make sure you pet the eagle to keep it clean and in good flying condition. You'll find secrets all over the island, if you know where to look. Collecting crystals will let you upgrade the eagle's ability to flap. You'll also discover larger puzzles to solve in ancient structures. Pathless is all about finding your own way forward. So unlike most open world games, there's no map. Instead, the hunter can use her mask to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. It even shows you where you've been. Getting to higher vantage points will let you see further with spirit vision. Giant cursed spirits, the source of the darkness, will pose a constant threat to you on your quest. They will try to separate you from the eagle. Stay still in the light to avoid detection. be able to take on the cursed spirits until you've returned light to the obelisks. When the obelisks are restored, the cursed spirits will be vulnerable. Chase them down through the forest to corner them in a dramatic final battle. will have to defeat the cursed spirits to bring light back to the world.
I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Pathless. We've only scratched the surface. There's so much more to explore and discover. The Pathless is coming out later this year. Thanks for watching.